Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, I am just going to play and I thought, well, I'm going to play with you guys and it's really good for me to, once I start ripping paper, I just think, okay, let's just share. Share the love. Everybody share the love. Do I need this up here? Probably not right now. Uh, actually, let me just move this whole thing out of the way. There we go. We don't need that in our way. Uh, I'm just going to collage and then um, brayer and then decorate on these. Usually I do collage and whatever, but now I just felt like doing like a collagey, um, I'm just going to do like so, just whatever. Um, I'm just going to do a collagey um, painting thing. So yeah, let's just do that. Collagey painting thing. I just love the sound of ripping paper, but probably not in your ear, right? Sorry. But we're going to make a mess, and I wanted to have some, um, some stuff to make a mess with. So let me grab, it's pretty, I have it right in front of me. I love it. Let me grab some of this new glue stick that I got. It's Amazon. It's purple glue stick, dries clear, washable, lavable. So lava. Lava, I mean, must be washable. Another whatever. So this one's got a little hole right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that up. Um, probably not with that. I usually just go on this side. I put the label on this side, and nobody seems to care. So, I mean, so far the um, post office hasn't hasn't um, yelled at me. As a matter of fact, mo the guys when I was in Southern California, they really enjoyed um, my art. <laughs> we say that. As she sniff snickers. I do like the way this goes down. It's a lot faster than um, it's a lot faster than the um, jot. It just boom and you're done, right? Okay, glue stick overboard. Let's grab that before it gets hairy. Yeah. So I just want to put a few things on here. Um, you know, just to, you know, so that when I brayer on this um, side, um, you know, there's going to be some texture. So, yeah, you guys can brayer with me today, too. Okay? Isn't this not like fun? You know you love it. You know you love to brayer. So, I found a um, jelly plate class here in town. Very expensive for my blood. But, um... I'm taking it anyway because I thought, well, um, you know, it's going to help me inter introduce me to people and get out a little bit. So there's just one really quick, really quick. I got to tell you, I love this glue stick. Maybe, maybe you created a monster because I don't think I can afford it all the time, Nancy. Shame on you. Shame on you. So what have I done today? I've got a video uploading right now, but I've got it videoing, um, in private so that I can check it out before I actually publish it. And I have, um, what else did I do? I went outside and I had to tear down some other boxes. So I tore down some other boxes and I, um, I trimmed a rose bush. You guys, I have a rose bush. Just FYI, and by the way, I have a rose bush. <laughs> like, I can't believe I actually have a rose bush. I mean, like, who would have thunk that I would ever have a rose bush? I mean, to you, that's probably a little, like, a, not a big deal. But, you guys, I've never even owned a yard. So, moving into this house has been, like, a lot of firsts for me. A lot, a lot. So, um, yeah. I've got my first yard, my first rose bush, my first aunt's. My first bug. Yeah, I got lots of bugs. Rosemary, you like bugs. You probably don't like this kind of bug, though. Oh, my word. I'm like, really? Where'd these guys come from? So, there's that. Not really happy with that. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, I need six of these envelopes. So, we will get them on here. Rear it up. Rear it up with some pretty colors. And then maybe I'll put a sentence on there too. You know, just just 
making it easy. This is a grab and glue, you guys. This is what I mean. Like when you say, don't think about it, just do it. This is what I mean. I'm not really thinking too much about it. The only thing I'm kind of trying to do is cover up some of the words, the verbiage, verbiage, whatever. So yeah, I went out and I trimmed my rose bush. I don't even know if I know how to do it. But, oh, I got to tell you, the other day we were at, I went out for this walk and there was like 20 girls and one guy, right? And of course the guy, he knew everything. And um, I was standing by this tree and I go, oh, I think that's a, um, a walnut tree. Or no, I think that's a cherry tree. And he's like, no, that's a walnut tree. That's one of the oldest walnut trees in Eugene, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I walked over and there was a plaque in front of it and it said cherry tree. Right? I was like, oh, and then this girl behind me started laughing so hard. I said, but don't tell him. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He can be right. You know? Oh, typical guy. But, um, so. <clears throat> that was funny. Typical guy. Oh, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a walnut tree. Okay, buddy. You're right. You're always right. So. Anyway. But that was fun. That was a fun walk. Got to go to uh, some of the parks here that I have. Um, I've got more to go to. There's so many parks in Eugene, you guys. Like so many parks. It's going to be really fun learning this area. Getting to know it more. You know, I haven't been out the last couple of days. Um, but, you know, I have to, I want to spend some time at the house, you know. So I did go grocery shopping and I'm trying to figure out like my budget. I have, you know, I look at it, you know how we look at it. You look at your budget and you think you know what it's going to be, but then there's the actual. So now I'm starting to panic. Uh, what did I do kind of thing? Oh, oh, you know, kind of thing. But then I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to, you know, stay home and do my art and not go where, not go out too often and I'll be good. I'll be good. Eventually get a part-time job, which I really don't want to do, you guys. The more I th the only reason I want to do it is because I want to be out with people more, but I don't want to do it because I don't know. I just I just don't know. I don't know if it's the best thing for me, you know? I don't know. So there's all that going on. Yes, if you're new to my channel, I chat a lot. I'm a chatty Kathy for sure, but not as much as when I do the chillin' chats. If you don't like the chatty stuff, definitely don't go to my chillin' chats, okay? Because you won't like it, because I chat and chat and chat and chat and chat. But I do stuff while I'm at it, you know what I mean? I don't just chat. I try to, try to do stuff like this. And I'm a fast crafter. You know, you'll see somebody that is probably still working on their first envelope by the time I'm done with 10. Like, I'm really, I'm just fast and... I don't give it too much thought, which is how I, just how I am, you know, it's just how I move, I move quickly. My mom always just say, you're so fast, no, but I didn't get it from her. She was very, um, determined person, you know what I mean? She, but she wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't slow, but she wasn't fast when she moved. She was just right. She had just the perfect pace, I think my mom did. Matter of fact, I wish I had more of my mom's pace in me. I think I'm a little too fast sometimes. But. I like this uh, glue. Thanks again, Nancy. Love it, love it, love it. I think you created a monster, though, gotta tell you. Gotta tell you. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford it. Once it's gone, it's gone. There we go. I don't know how much it was. I didn't check. But I'm sure it's more than my eight sticks for a dollar at, uh, uh, well, at, um, Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, are you guys liking the new camera? I do. I really do. I enjoy having my phone free. That's really nice. I used to be more wor worried to do lives because of that, but now I think I can do some lives, more lives, because I don't have to... You know, it's not on my phone, so yay me. Yay us. So. That's cute.
spoon away and then I'm going to grab some paint and uh, um, I'm going to grab some paint and probably a uh, brayer because I want to just brayer it on. I might use a credit card. I don't know yet. We're going to do something to smear some paint around for sure. So there's that. So we've got six of them, just what I need for a project I'm working on. Um, but I'm going to say, so I'm not sure how I'm going to put paint on there. And then I'm going to find something to actually put down as a, as a, um, you know, something on the paint. You know, saying maybe, or a, um, saying, or, um, picture, maybe a picture, got some really cute images I need to use up for sure. Okay, so that was the last one. All right, so let me get my pack together. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put a little bit of backing paper behind my, um, my work surface here, and I have my, um, one of my older, um, Rares here that I'm going to use because I don't really care. I mean, I just want this to be messy, and um, I'll fix this later with something. I'll probably is like a stamp or something. Stamp? No, sticker. So, anyway. so let's just get started. I just chose a few um, different colors. I'm just going to use some of the blue and the green and some yellow, and this one's metallic. And I'm not trying to do a big deal here. I'm just trying to um, do just you know I don't even know. So, because I've never done this on this before, so let's just see how it goes. So let's just do this together. We're gonna make some space here for you to see. I'm addicted to Diet Seven Up these days, you guys. It's the only one I can find that's caffeine free and that I actually like. You know, I have trouble with um, with soft drinks. I'm not a big soft drink drinker, but this time I am. Hold on, one second. Big drink. Okay. Excuse me, sorry about that. So I'm just gonna put a, like a, I don't think I'm gonna need much color. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of color down on here and um, bunk it up a little bit. So yeah, I don't need much. Yeah, I just, yeah, perfect. So basically, and I'm not trying to do the whole thing. I'm just trying to do this, you know what I mean? There we go. See how the texture came up on that? Nice. Okay, it's just, there we go. Just trying to make a mess over here. And you know, but you guys know that I'm very good at making a mess. And that's about it. <laughs> just adding some color. Not trying to be all what else. Add some green to this one. So basically, I'm just gel, gel. What oh, sort I'm looking for here, guys? Brayering. I'm not too that great. I love the lines of the brayer. I actually love that. That works for me. There we go. That's cool. That is cool. That is good. to turn the autofocus off because it keeps bumping. Hold on. That's annoying. And, oh, maybe it's that white paper. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Advanced. I'll turn that off. Yeah. That's better. Is that better? Yes. Boy, that bumping was annoying. I'm sorry. I'm going to learn. I'm just going to start. I'm going to turn that off and maybe make that a default as off. And then if I need it, I'll turn it on. But I kind of tend to remember um, that most crafters, um, I hear them always saying, I'm turning that autofocus off. Hold on. So I think that that's kind of what happens. Just 
So we'll turn that off and off the one. I don't think we use it. Okay. All right, now that we got the blues. Blues. Now let's throw some yellow on there just because I have it out. I thought it would be fun. I actually should do some stenciling on top of that, right? Ooh, let me grab a stencil. Hold on, I'm not even going to stop. So I got to remember where my stencils are. There we are. Let's grab a stencil real quick. How nice is it to have our own space and just, yeah. Just pick a stencil on. What are you doing? Pick a stencil on. Ooh. Okay, I picked one. Okay, that's what we're going to use. Oh, let's do these stencils. Let's see how that turns out. That's more yellow. Where did I put the yellow now? Right here. That'd be pretty. Ooh, a little bit much there, kiddo. It's okay, we'll use a lot of it. All right, let's see how this works. See. You can tell I don't wash my stencils, huh? I'm really bad. Is that gonna work? Oh, you know how we're gonna have to do this? We're gonna roll it on there and then just like so. Uh yeah, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I think this was a fail, guys. A fail idea. I think we need a a bigger, a wider. Yeah, let's get a bigger stencil. Hold on, my bad. Let's get something like this. I think that's better. Maybe a darker color. Oh no. I don't know. I'm not getting, I think it's the color. So that's just making a big fat mess. So let's forget the stencil for a minute. We're going to go back to it though. Hold on. I'm gonna add this color. Let's get rid of this color real quick. Let's get rid of this yellow. It's pretty. Okay, so I. There we go. Okay, that's good. There we go. Okay, so what I'd like to try is um, I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and use it as like a jelly plate. I don't want this paint all over the shirt, but that's gonna happen. Okay, so let's grab like this color right here. It's a pink. And we're just going to have to do the, I'm going to try the jelly plate. We'll just jelly plate, sort of. Let's see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Let's see if I go like so. If I go like so. I've been dying to jelly plate, but I am going to be doing a, a real jelly plate sesh, not just this. There we go. That's what I meant. That's what the doctor ordered for shizzle. Okay, let's do another color and another kind. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's do some of those color, those the scratch and orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say orange? Okay. It's really orange. Oh, it's really runny. I have to tell you, when I left uh, Ort, California, I told myself, self, don't go through your paint. Don't bring a lot of empty bottles. Guess who ended up bringing a lot of empty bottles? Me. I can't throw paint away. I just... I have a real problem. I do have a real problem with trying to throw paint away. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, let's see. Are we 
get some? Oh, we did. That's cool. So see, that's what the doctor ordered. That's what the doctor ordered. Good, but we don't care. We don't care. Just making some fun huh? messes. <laughs> that one's going to need something. That's going to need something. All right. Look at I'm pulling out more and more paint as I go. Isn't that funny? That's hilarious. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. As long as I don't get it all over myself, I'll be happy. I don't feel like getting all painty right at the moment, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this back on here. This is not playing very nice, this flower power one. I'm determined, though. I am determined. Just to make these the way I want them. I kind of want to put them on here, but I think it'll show up around this one. There you go. A cute little print. Not, a, not, not nothing special, but. You can see the flowers, and that works for me. Now let's see if we put this on here. What will happen? Not a. Now let's put it on here and see what happens. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna get painty today. <laughs> I knew I would. I knew I was gonna. This one is just not coming out very good, so. All right, well, let's take that and let's call it good because, well, actually, I want these two. I want to try something else. Hold on. Um, yeah. There we go. That's cool. Awesome. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Something like that there. Let's pick up another one if we can. That's better. I just want some kind of a, like where you can tell there was a print. That's a cool one, huh? So these are good. These little flowers are, that's very light and that's, that's okay. So I think this one needs more. These, this one needs, is fine for now. And then this one needs more of a print as well. So Let's see what we can pull off this last bit. That's good. That works for me. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's grab this up with this. Perfect. And then we'll find something else to put on there. Because I love to um, send stuff with my my mail out. I love to um, to decorate the envelopes. We all do, don't we? Yeah, that looks good. That's great. Love the texture. It's pretty. All right. So with that, I'll be right back, and we'll decorate these guys after I clean up this. Okay, I found some images that I want to cut out. So let's get some scissors. Let's just cut out. Now, I wish I could have found all of these, but I've, I've sent some of these off, so I don't have all of that I need, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six images. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim these around. And um, I don't fussy cut 
fussy fussy. I always leave a little bit of an edge because it's easier. I think it's fine. It looks just as nice without all of the stress of um, trying to be too fussy and too precious with them. So I hope that um, that you know that's how you do it too. If you know if you're just making a mess and if you're not doing a major art piece which most of us are just having fun and making a mess, right? So yeah, so I'm just going to do a few of these. I'll pick some words out, and then these envelopes will be ready, and I'll finish up my project and get try to get those up um, as soon as I can. I love to cut out, though. It's funny because, like, you guys know me. When I was a kid, I was addicted to paper dolls. It's so funny. It's like I was a crafter, a, a paper lover before I even knew that I had... Uh, but I loved it. I was actually, um, I actually had like scrapbooks and stuff, but they were more, you know, like not scrapbook scrapbooks because nobody ever showed me, told me how to do it. Nobody ever taught me or, sh you know, I had no, and I had no idea what mixed media was until a couple years ago. None. I had no clue what mixed media was, you guys. You guys are the ones that taught me about mixed media. So isn't that funny? I had no clue. Just none at all. And then when I saw some mixed media online, I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Well, I could do that. So I pulled out all of my stuff. I had a few little paints and some brushes and some junk. And I had it all under in one little cabinet in the kitchen for, for Lauren when she was doing like school projects. You know, we had picked, picked, got picked up some paints and stuff along the way, some little art supplies. So what happened was, is I pulled it all out of the um, cupboard and I put it out on a folding table, which is, I think, the same folding table I'm using now. Um, and um, now I've just, I thought, oh, I'll never have need more than one folding table or a corner somewhere, right? Well, now I, I've, I'm, I've graduated to a whole room, so now I have a whole room full of stuff. That's good. So we'll cut these two layers out. This might have to go on one, so this might just count as one. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope this is relaxing for you. It is for me. Um, I'll be going into Portland tomorrow. I have to see my girlfriend. She's getting married in August. <clears throat> I said, and she's been married before, and I was her maid of honor. <clears throat> and I said. Why do you always pick August 1st to get married? The hottest day of the year. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> and the church that she got married in didn't have air conditioning the last time. And we were both hungover. And I pretty much had to prop her up. That was my job. <laughs> that was in the early 80s. Well, probably like 1982 or something. I don't know. I should ask her when it was. She would know. She would remember. So, yeah. But she wants me to be like, do you remember bridesmaids? And um, where they, girls get up, I think it's Karen, somebody's wedding, I can't think of her first name. Um, she gets up and they like argue who has the most stories to tell about the bride. So she wants me and her sister-in-law to do something like that. And oh my gosh, the other day I was thinking about a story that I should tell about how, you know, her, you know, my friend and I, like, were the first ditzy people. Like, one time, I've told this story before on here, I think. Like, we used to go clubbing, you know, in the 80s, and we used to know all the bands and everybody and all the door people and all the owners. I mean, we had so much fun. And one time, and we used to get this thing that was called the Downtowner. And um, it's a magazine that was, comes out weekly. There's another one now, I think, called The Weekly, actually. Anyway, um, it's called The Downtowner. And um, we were looking at it one day, and, and I was like, geez, these guys are so popular. They play everywhere. And she's like, oh, yeah, let me see. She goes, oh, I've never heard of them. And I go, I've never heard of them either. But they're, like, everywhere. And it just didn't dawn on us, but as we looked at it, it was said TBD, right? Like, geez, this TBD group, they're, they're so popular. <laughs> well, you and I all know what TBD stands for, right? To be determined. 
it didn't dawn on us that TVD was playing everywhere on the same night even. <laughs> TVD. Oh, my word. That was hilarious. So we, once we figured that out, what we were doing, we laughed so hard. It was just so funny. <clears throat> so we were like the first ditzies without the, you know, the accessory dogs. <laughs> So funny. That, so she's getting married again, and I'm really happy for her because she's a little bit older than me, you guys. I'm really pleased with her for her. He says this is good color for fodder for ephemera. So yeah, isn't that great though? I'm really happy. So I said, Great. I said, I'm gone this whole time, you don't get married, you're out having a good time. I come back and now you're getting married, and there goes. My person, I was going to go have a good time with. Although, I'm kind of glad, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Because that is foot. But anyway, um, I'm actually kind of glad because uh, I have other things I'd rather be doing. I'm not a club hopper anymore. Those days are long gone. So far. Long gone. So. I don't remember what book this came from, so I hope you guys aren't going to ask me. It's a Christmas book, I think. But I just love the art, the um, beautiful images. I just So what I did is I went through the pages and I just tore the pages out and kept the images. Isn't that, isn't that funny? Okay. I'll see where I'm going here. I think we're going to find make one more image. Because I think I determined I need those little girls to be on the same page. Because they're so small. You know, I'm noticing I don't like to go out on the weekends because I'm finding that that's when everybody else is out and about, right? So, and I don't feel guilty about staying home and doing this on the weekends. Isn't that funny? So we have these. I might go around those with some ink, but eh, it's just for now, so I'm not really going to work. That's that and that. So we've only got five. We need one more. Let's find one more, shall we? I think we do another one. Let's do another one of these. They, they're cute. They're cute. He's cute. And it's handy. And he's handy. Yeah. Isn't it cute? It's super cute. So this is just like, even though it's an envelope, it's like doing little art pages, you know? Gosh, doesn't feel like I haven't been videoing like at all, you guys, like for so long. To me, it seems like forever. <sighs> it just does. Okay, so let's look for some words. Hold on. I think I've got some right here. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. I'll just use those. All right, so let's just get started. Gluing these guys down. And I don't usually go over it with um, Mod Podge or anything. So, yeah. So, this is, there is more to life than increasing its speed. This is great advice for simplifying your life. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. So, that was Gandhi. One of Gandhi's most illuminating observation was that there is more to life than increasing its speed. This is great advice for simplifying your life. Yeah. We don't have to all be in such a hurry, right, guys? Why are we all in such a hurry to go nowhere fast? I don't know. I just don't know. Mm. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I kind of want to cut these out. And... Yeah, I'm going to cut them out. Let's not do this. I, I don't think this is good. Let's cut 
cut these out. Because I don't want to go around them. Gives them more, you know, looks better. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So what we can do with something like that is add it to some paper. Ooh, nice soft, soft paper. This is going to be a long video. I hope you guys don't mind it. Like I said, it's like doing some art pages, so it's okay, right? This is okay. Words of the words of the wise. I like that, like that. That's just right. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's glue this little feller down. Little feller. Well, you can really see where you're going with this purple. I like that about it for sure. That's kind of cool. So that's a good start for this little page right here. Just a cute little, just a cute little something, something. And this can always be cut out and used in your junk, junk journals or whatever. All right, let's do another one. Let's do, let's see. Listen intently, I like that one. And don't ask me again, don't ask me where I got this. Probably thrift store, if I know me. You guys, I'm not kidding. Probably a thrift store, if I know me. Thrift store or a bookstore, you know, something like that. Upside down. So it's kind of, um, when there's bad weather, um, it's harder to do these little pages, you know. I mean, it's not harder to do the pages, but that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying when it's, there's bad weather, you worry about them getting there in one piece, you know. But most of the time, they, I haven't had any problems with anything. 
There you go. It's fine. I needed this, you guys. I can't remember the last time. Well, it was with you. <laughs> For sure. It was definitely with you. Really cute, super cute. That's number two. You go beyond the world of limitations. Connect to your source. Be who or what you were meant to be. I like that. We like that. Let's cut this one because otherwise it won't come out very good. You guys are feeling as relaxed as I am right now. I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty gosh darn good. And I feel like my craft room is not, oops, not as organized as it, as it will be, but it's okay. I mean, I know where things are pretty much, and I'm not, I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed in here like I was um, in that, uh, in my, uh, dining room at my apartment. Oh gosh, do you guys remember that wall of all those boxes I had? Oh my gosh. That place was really closing in on me at the end. I mean, it was seriously closing in on me at the end. I can't even tell you how hard it was for me to, um, to be there. My job, my home, it's, it's like everything has been upgraded for me. Um, my job was terrible. Um, my place where I lived was not, um, you know, ideal. I mean, the, the neighbor upstairs, remember the neighbor upstairs, whatever happened? Oh my God, whatever happened to her? I wonder, I think she signed another year's lease in there and, and, uh, oh boy. Um, she was something else. I don't miss her. Not at all. Not at all, you guys. She was so mean. Mean to the kids. And oh my gosh, the really noisy kid neighbors. They moved out like, what, three, week, three or four weeks before I did. Can you believe it? It was so funny. I was like, but I never complained about them. Because that's just not who I am. I had, matter of fact, I stuck up for them because they are kids and the mom and the dad were nice. And they were just trying to make it work. I mean, it's expensive to live in California and, and uh, you know, there's lots, lots of times in California, there's more than one family living in, in, a, in an apartment. I don't think that's what was happening there though. I think, I think he was an engineer and I think he was making a pretty good wage. Oh, speaking of wages, I'm freaking out. Oh, I don't have a job. I need to get a job. <laughs> get myself a job. <clears throat> I think my stress level will go way down once I have a job. Look at these witchy witches. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. <clears throat> Look at her little striped, her little striped nylons. I just think that's adorable. Uh, practice creating that vision anyway. It says, I'm going to tear this out and I'm going to put them both on there because I really like what it says. It says, even if you don't know what you should be doing or what your mission is, you need to practice creating that vision anyway. So I'm going to use both of these. 
because I really like that. That's important. So we'll put this on a piece of paper by itself and then we'll cut these up. Because isn't that the truth? It's almost like fake it till you make it, right guys? Which I think I need to do. Fake it till I make it. In my, as far as my stress goes, I need to tell myself, oh, you're fine. Don't worry, don't worry. And I'll be a lot happier if I did that. Don't you think? I worry about my health. That's what I worry about the most these days. Well, that and, well, okay, I can't say the most. A lot. But I've been eating a lot better since I got here. Um, back on Weight Watchers, sort of. I'm, um, you know, at least I'm, I'm going, I went to the group and I'm meeting some people that way. So that'll be fun. And, um, yeah. I kind of, when I, when I do these, I kind of hope that when I send these out, that the message that the person gets, it's all random, by the way. Um, whoever buy, I just, if whoever buys something from me or if I send something out, I just do this. But I'm always kind of hoping that the message that is on the envelope or the package or whatever is one that um, kind of resonates with the person receiving the package. You know what I mean? I'm always hoping that that's what's, um, what happens. You know, I hope. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, you know, you you got me. So, because that's always fun to get something and go, oh yeah, I relate. There was something online the other day. Oh, it was uh, Lori Marie. She um she wrote a story, and it was about. Hold on a second. Let me think. Let me try to remember. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right on the top of my tongue. But it really resonated with me, and she wrote it, and I thought, and I—that's all I wrote in her in my um, in my mess, my comment. I said that really resonated with me, and I can't even think of it right now. But at the moment, it really resonated with me. But isn't she talented? I love Lori Marie. You know, I just love what she shares. I love her energy. She's really talented. I love her tattoo. Man, she's got it going all the way around the back of her head. Have you seen that yet? Isn't that cool? I'm too chicken to get even one, and the woman's got them everywhere. <laughs> I wish I had the nerve, the noive. I wish I had the noive. That's cute. Isn't that cute? I like that. All right, how many more? One, two more. Two more. And then we're going to... I just love these. I really do. So, yeah. What was it? Gosh. It's a story, and then somebody says, Are you full now? No, not quite. Are you full now? No, not quite. I can't remember now all of a sudden. Are you? I don't remember, but it was like, you know, isn't that funny? It's just, it was a good story. Go watch it. She does meditation too sometimes. You are connected to a continual stream of well being. Well, you gotta have that. You must have that. That's a must-have. Ugh, I need to hear that, right? Quit worrying about my health. Yes, I need to know that. Because you only make it worse when you fret so much. And I fret so much, you guys. I'm such a big fretter. Okay, I'm going to quit complaining now. I just want you to relax when you're here, and I don't want to complain in your ear. I don't want to do that. So just relax. Relax and do your, you are connected to a continuum. Do your art with me. I know there's a million other places where you guys can be and I'm just happy that you're here with me. So happy. So happy that I'm not doing this journey alone. And that's so true. You guys have just really been wonderful to me. Isn't that cute? Through all of this nonsense of my move and all the drama.
That didn't look very pretty. Let's fix that one a little bit. There we go. That's better. That's more better. That's is more better. They don't have to be perfect. I am going to go around them with ink tints, I think. Because that'll make it really cool. Really pop. Make them really pop. And I want them to look like um, little art pages. Little journaling pages. Hey, you can just cut these out and put them in your art book. I don't care. Oh, don't crunch that. Don, really? I just crunch that. Lovely piece of paper. Put this down. You definitely don't need as much of this purple stuff as you do of the, um, of the, uh, you don't need as much as the jot. I'm noticing that. It's just great. It is muy bueno. Muy magnifique. So you guys, what's a good movie I can watch on TV? And I'm also, I'm all done watching, um, what am I done watching? Shameless. I'm done watching Shameless now, so I don't really have anything else to watch. Look, I've gone through my first glue stick already. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I told you the illness nice. only lasts me two days, Nancy. Okay. Fun! So much fun. I wish I had more of those little ladies to go around, but I don't. Seems like I missed... There it is. So it seems like I'm missing something. So I was checking out my yard today. My gardener has to come tomorrow. Yes, I have a gardener because I don't have a lawnmower yet. And I'm not even sure I really want to do the whole lawn thing. You know what I mean? My gosh. <clears throat> Trust in what truly inspires you. The pressure to do so. Ooh. When you steadfastly refuse to think, act, and conform to the mandate of others, the pressure to do so does does to do so loses its momentum. Enjoy every moment. Okay. Your spirit energy from a field of love. I like that one. You're in your perfect body. For your time here in this incarnation and its living, breathing miracle, I don't know. Um, be here now. It's the essence of inspiration. Hang on. Shift into peaceful mode. You can tell when I see something I really have to have. The rest, not so much. Shift into a peaceful mode. That's good advice for anybody. Right. Anyway, so my lawn, my lawn is really long and oh, so um, actually I am still doing a lot in my, on my lawn. I had to go buy this um, killer stuff to kill a thing called crane fly, which is actually daddy long legs. Who knew that daddy long legs was called crane fly? I had no idea. So, um, the neighbor across the street comes over. It was so funny. I bought this place and didn't move in for a long time, but I did have a gardener come and keep it up for me, right? So when I got here, shortly thereafter, a man was getting out of his truck across the street. He says, oh, are you the new owner? I said, yes. And he said, took you long enough to move in. <laughs> and I said, well, I got a gardener. <laughs> I had a gardener taking care of the place. He goes, yeah, I noticed. He goes, but you've got crane fly or something there in your yard because it's kind of a mess. And I said, what do you mean? What's a crane fly? Because I thought it was like needed fertilizer or something. And he's like, um, no, it's like, have you seen Daddy Longlegs? I go, yeah. And I goes, that's what it is. It's, it gets into your, um, your, um, your grass and grows and, you know, kills it. So anyway, needless to say, I went to the Home Depot-ish type store. And I bought this stuff that you put on the end of your hose and you go back and forth, back. I was so scared to do that because it's poison. I was so scared. I never did that before. But it wasn't hard. It only took a minute. And then I actually have a pair of tennis shoes now that I just use just for that. Just for that. So when I'm outside 
poisoning stuff that I don't track it in the house because I worried about Gracie, you know, and Misty. I don't want to bring poison into the house. So that was kind of scary. So, yeah. This one. Yeah, so that was a little scary for me. Um, but anyway, so it's not bad. But anyway, so the, the gardeners were come on Monday and um, it didn't, it didn't look so, it doesn't look so good today. So I'm, I'm Looks like they need to be here. All they basically do is mow and blow. That's it. So like today I trimmed the roses and I um, did do the, um, yard, the all the, uh, what do you call it? I did the, uh, you know, the weed killer, the bug killer stuff. So I'm thinking ugh, if I can get, if, as soon as I know how healthy I am or not, because I don't feel so good, you guys, I need to find a doctor really bad. If anybody lives in the Eugene area and you know of a good, like, primary doctor and a GI, let me know because I'm having the hardest time. I cannot find a doctor to save my life. I just, and I'm so worried that I'm not going to find the kind of doctors that I'm used to. I have, the, I had the best doctors. Now I'm really sorry. I mean, I'm really sorry that I don't have my doctors, but anyway, so if, yeah, if you know any doctors, let me know in the comments or PM me. Um, so... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, but I don't want to be out there. I just need to know that I'm going to be okay before I'm out doing all kinds of nonsense in the yard. So, yeah. So, there's that. All right. So, now that that's that. Let that go. There we go. Let's take a look. And then I think I want to go around them with some ink pens. I don't care. Look at that. I'm so messy. So, these are cute, though, right? They turned out super cute. So there's more to life than, than increasing its speed. Well, as you get older, you definitely don't want to increase your speed. You want to slow down, in my opinion, because you want to you want it to last longer. <laughs> you are connected to a continuous stream of well-being. I love that one. Even if you don't know what you should be doing or what your mission is, you need to practice creating that vision anyway. Be who or what you were meant to be. I love that. Listen intently. And shift into a peaceful mode. So I love these and I hope that they mean something to whoever gets them. I will be right back. Hold on, I'm not even gonna turn off the video. You know me. I'll just chat at you from over here. Where's my intent? They're over there. They're over by ya. And I've got some water here too, good. Got some water. I'll grab my ink pen. And we'll make a mess. Make a mess. Make a mess. Love it, my, my my room. Oh, these are ink tents, by the way. This is the one I have, the Derwin Ink Tents 24, and they're nice. They're really pretty. And I love ink tents. They're per they dry permanent. They're not watercolor pencils, but they they and they dry permanent, so they're fun. So should I try to zoom in? Let's try to zoom in. Let's try to zoom in. Wait. There we go. There we go. It's kind of cool, huh? Not like you need to see all that, but. Okay, so I'm just going to use some different colors on here. I'm not going to. Okay, I can sit this down. Okay, there we, go. we don't need all that. Pull my chair up. I brought this old wooden chair with me. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the dark. What is this one? Indigo. We'll use that, and I'll just go around like so. And then we're just going to use a paintbrush and make it all like that. I have water brushes. I don't know where they are. I just do not know. I do not know. No clue. I want to go around here, do I want to go around here? I'm not sure. Hold on. We'll do both. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I like the outside better. Let's go around the outside. That's the better. I was going around the girls too, but I'm not going to. I think this is fine. Just like this. Throwing stuff around, making a mess. I 
There we go. Yeah, I think that's great. Just like so. Grab your glue. If you get these and there's something lifting, just glue it back down. It's fine. Just fine. Let's go ahead and go around and see if that was a hand. I don't know. Maybe we did. Oh, yeah, I love that thing. Just messy. Just messy and fun. I like it. So there's one. One and done. Let's do this one now. There was a drawing class, you guys. And uh, it was over $100, though. I really would have liked to have taken it, but 100 bucks. Ugh. It's a lot of money for me. Right now, when I don't know exactly what's going on, I have to figure out my budget. I thought I knew it. I thought I knew it before I did all this nonsense of retiring. Oh, my gosh. But moving is not cheap. But I've really been really good about um, not buying anything, you know, too much um, that I don't actually need, need since I got here. I've been pretty good. Um, but hopefully someday it'll lighten up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't mean for this video to be so darn long. I apologize, but I know some people really like them long, so I'm not going to apologize too much. I know there's some people out there that absolutely love them longer. So. And that's okay. This is going to be as long as a fatty patty, though, isn't it? How cute. Should I try another color? Let's do a blue. Let's do a blue. This is called Isis, Isis Blue. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love it. You guys could cut these up and use them as tags. You know, I don't know how, but I mean, there's, I don't know. You could probably put that on a tag, a big tag, an awfully big tag, but that's okay, right? Dollar Tree has some of those water brushes. Should probably go get one, huh? Or two or three. Gracie hasn't been around lately, you guys. She's still in. I think what's going on is Misty. Oh, Misty came out of the. Actually, came out of the um, bedroom. It was all the way into the kitchen. Was it last night? Yeah, I was so happy. But I think. Gracie kind of, even though she's mean to Misty, she stays kind of close to her. You know, so since Misty won't come out during the day, like at all, she's turned into like a bat. She just is nocturnal. But cats usually are, right? So, you know. Oh, I must not more. It's actually okay to do, but I don't want to. I love this. I love the jelly plate on this. It's really cute. And it wasn't the best jelly plate sesh, but but it's okay. Yeah, I need something to watch on TV now. I don't know what to watch. I'm reading, though. I've got some stuff that I'm reading. It's just not great. 
beach reads, actually, if you will. So. Cute, right? Isn't that fun? Who knew? A couple more. We're almost done, guys. Sharpen these, I think, better. Oh, I'm riding a bike tonight. I totally forgot about that. Oh, I should set a reminder. We're bike riding with a friend that I just met. Lives in the neighborhood. Isn't that great? I hope that works out. She seems really nice. And then I've got to pack some clothes for my jaunt into Portland tomorrow. Because, um, now I need to go in and get a haircut and get a haircut and get my oil changed because my light's on. So I need to do that. I like this blue, obviously. I kept using it, didn't I? That's cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. The last one. Yep. Yeah, nope. One more after this. Let's try a different color because this one, let's do this green. I should just sharpen it, you know? Hold on. I know where the sharpener is. Hold on. Let's see if this will work. That's better. Let's just stick with it. The black one would have been good on this one because it's already pretty dark, but that's okay. So I can't wait to go to the beach. I'll take you guys down to Florence with me. When my daughter gets into town, we're going to go to Florence. But I'm waiting to do that with her so that we can both see it at the same time. And we'll get a room, you know. So I want to save money so that I can actually do that with her. Um, so she's happy. She can take some pictures and Instagram them. Put them on the gram. Remember, we used to always go to Cambria, me and my daughter. Oh, my gosh. I found some rocks the other day that we um, combed on the beach, our rock collection. And oh, my gosh. It brings back so many memories. Cambria was our spot. I, mean, I must have taken her there a million times as a kid. And um, we went, like, what, like a little less than a year ago. I think we went again. And, oh. It's just the place for us to go. We love Cambria. It's real close to Morro Bay and um, Cayucas. So if you're in the California, Southern California area and if you haven't been to, to, to 
Cambria, you guys, ha you have to go. Honestly, you just have to go today, right now. Turn this off. Get out of your chair. Go. Go, go, go. And stay on Moonstone Beach where all of the beautiful little hotels are. Not hotels, but they're like, oh yeah, they're hotels. But they're very small and quaint. You can get a ones, you can get most of the ones that we always got had like um, fireplaces in the room, you know. So I always like the Blue Dolphin. That's a good one. That's a fine one. I think the last time we stayed at the Fog Catcher. So if you're up there, you need to do that for sure. So on that note, let's all just shift into a peaceful mode, as the picture says. And everybody, just take it easy. And uh, I just dropped my paper. And these are ready to be sent out. And I just love them. I think they turned out really cute. I mean, who knew, right? An hour ago, these did not exist. And now they do. And I just think they're a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, envelope decorating session and we're going to be doing probably a lot more of that. Uh, at least it gives us chances to do these little art pages um, on, um, you know, on, you know, something to do. I was thinking we should go around this with some black. That would look really cute. But whoever gets this can do with, their, with it whatever they want to do. They can finish up um, their, in their way. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a really great day. I'll talk to you really soon. Bye, guys.